Uh, today we're going to demonstrate installing um, Shelfmate's patented T-lock uh, mounting brackets for the purpose of mounting floating shelves. They can be used for other things, but uh, primarily, primarily they're designed for installing floating shelves. Uh, it has a mounting plate that attaches to your wall. You locate a stud and screw the mounting plate to the wall. Uh, and then uh, hang your bracket on it. In this case, uh, this is the 10-inch uh, bracket, uh, the T-lock bracket. Uh, this one will hold this particular mounting plate and bracket combination will hold up to 225 pounds. So it's a simple matter of putting the plate on the wall and then uh, installing the brackets. Slide on the floating shelf. Good system. Uh, what we're going to do today is demonstrate installing this T-Lock 1515-10. Now it's uh, uh, will handle up to 150 pounds. Uh, they all install the same way. The T-Lock mounting bracket, uh, mounting plate against the wall and then, uh, and then uh, attach the shelf bracket to that. And you got some adjustability for tilting your, your shelf and that's a good thing. Let me point out a couple of pieces that come with the product. Um, it has a three and a, a three and a half inch uh, structural screw. Now that's uh, <laughs> this is the meat and potatoes for holding the thing on the wall, and it really is strong. Uh, so uh, they don't recommend drilling a pilot hole for this. Uh, uh, I do. I think you should drill a, an eighth inch hole about an inch deep just to get this thing started and going in straight. Uh, Shelfmade has a lag bolt. Uh, they call it double headed because of this uh, space right here. Um, I call it a saddle, but this is a good bolt. Uh, I'd pre-drill this one all the way in uh, using a, an eighth inch bit or so. Uh, five millimeters is uh, my preference a bit, but drill a pilot hole for this. The first step in installing these uh, uh, brackets from Shelf Made for floating shelves is to locate your studs, uh, get a line on the wall. You don't have to make as much mess as I did, but get your um, uh, line on the stud, uh, locate that. Um, the manufacturer recommends a, a maximum of uh, 32 inch spacing uh, on these. Uh, in, my, in this particular case we're at 16 inches, but a maximum of 32. Uh, and then uh, the rating for, uh, for this one, 150 pounds per bracket. Pretty hefty load that it'll handle. So locate that, then get a, a line across so it's level. Uh, be sure to be aware of this, that the line that you're drawing, this level line, doesn't reflect the top of the floating shelf. It will reflect the top of this uh, T-lock mounting plate. So that's what your level line will do. So if your if your hol hollow shelf it slides over this bracket, you might have another uh, half or three eighths or three quarters of an inch. So just keep that in mind. This line reflects the top of the mounting plate. Uh, so you've got the studs marked. Uh, you located where you're going to put your brackets. Then the next thing uh, in uh, installing this bracket is you take these sticky back uh, paper templates and line them up with the line like this. So uh, simply put this on the wall, tape it to the wall where you're going to drill your holes. Um, this hole on the top here is where you're going to put your structural screw. And that hole is for your structural screw. Uh, drill a hole about an inch deep with an eighth inch uh, uh, drilling bit or I used a five millimeter to drill that, uh, to pilot that hole. And then this hole, the one down below. Uh, that is the hole for the lag bolt. So using a quarter inch or a five millimeter bit, you can drill that one all the way in if you want. So that's for the uh, lag bolt. Uh, this one is for the, the structural screw that really has the, your holding power. Notice these uh, marks here um, and how I've extended the line here. What that is telling you is, um, so that line tells you where the center of this block is and then you measure out two inches and it'll put your screw right in the center of this uh, poly block, this composite thing here. 
for holding your shelf to the wall. And I think that's a good, a good design there. Uh, so what we need to do right now, before we go any farther, is uh, drill these holes, uh, these pilot holes, and get ready to attach uh, these uh, T-lock mounting plates to the wall. Now what's going to happen here that uh, is uh, important is this T-lock mounting plate uh, fits into this double-headed lag bolt. We're going to put the lag bolt in first and um, this uh, mounting plate, wall mounting plate, slips right into that saddle and that's how you get started with uh, mounting this to the wall. Now the wall mounting plate for the T-lock system slides right over the top of the um, uh, that saddle and there she sits. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Now when you, when you go to put in your structural screw, it isn't such a fight to get this thing uh, lined up. You, you're pre-drilled a little bit so you can get this screw started uh, like this and, uh, and then sink that screw in there. You can do the same thing here, uh, slide this into the saddle and then take your structural screw and get it started. Because you've because you pre-drilled uh, that first inch, that makes this really nice on the structural screw, that being pre-drilled. Uh, it requires the use of a T30 star drive bit in order to uh, drill that, uh, to sink that uh, structural screw. There it is, uh, the mounting plate is on the wall. Structural screws are in uh, with the mounting plates on the wall and lined up with the horse on the line. Uh, now all we have to do is take our shelf bracket for the floating shelf and put those on the mounting plate. Uh, notice how nice that goes onto the bracket. And then as we said, because we have this line here we can uh, we can measure out two inches and that's where that's where we can set this use this uh, set screw to, to keep our shelf in place so uh, what's nice about this uh, system is that by turning that uh, lag bolt uh, underneath I can tighten this against the wall and to bring it down or I can loosen it to, to tilt it up it has a lot of tilt watch watch it on the video here and observe the amount of movement there. You see that? Look at that movement. Our level in this case and, and now it's just a matter of uh, grabbing this uh, floating shelf and sliding it onto the bracket and uh, everything is everything is level. Uh, installing this economy bracket doesn't require the mounting plate but uh, you still use the same uh, paper template uh, to do it and you have to have this lag bolt screwed, in, screwed into the wall so that's all, all stays the same. So instead of using a mounting plate, you just put the bracket uh, directly onto the uh, lag bolt. Just set it right on there, right into the saddle. The only thing you have to do is put in the structural screw. It's a little tricky. Uh, it requires a, an extension on your uh, an extension on your drill bit uh, in order to reach that structural screw. Uh, we have to find that hole for the structural screw. And now that we got this nice long extension, we just a simple matter of screw it in. Done. Slip the shelf on. Here again you have uh, this line that we extended. Measure out two inches and you can put in this little screw to keep your shelf from coming off the wall. So there you go. There you now that is the um, shelf mate patented uh, wall bracket uh, system for floating shelves. It's a really nice one. I, I hope you like these. As I said before we've got a variety of them, six different ones. This one, my favorite one, uh, yeah, 
the 150 pound bracket also is available on 8 inch. So we have a pretty good system of brackets for installing floating shelves. Uh, one of the nicest ones on the market. Well, I'm, I'm fairly convinced it's the nicest one on the market. Uh, you should give some of these a try.